got lost there. <laughs> so I was ranting about, this is part two, about the knife and how most of the stuff in the knife world, like in Kali and Seelot and Jeet Kune Do, and a lot of it doesn't work. You know, I've seen Jeet Kune Do manuals where Bruce Lee is kicking the knife away with his foot. Listen, I'm here to tell you that that shit would not work. Okay? I love Bruce Lee. Everybody loves Bruce Lee. But I'm sorry. That shit doesn't work. You see it in the Sea Lock community. You see people, they disarm, they, they stab you with a knife, and the guy does this backflip cartwheel and grabs the knife and disarms. It's not going to work. Okay, you see it in the Kali community, they do all this fancy trapping and passing of the blade and overhand strip disarm and underhand strip disarm. It's not going to work. It's bullshit. I had the wonderful privilege of working for Lassie Zabo, a very famous knife maker. I used to uh, rent a warehouse from him. He was my landlord for years. And for years, Lassie's a crazy guy. He's a good guy, a good friend of mine. I love him. For years, he would wake me up and go, okay, it's time to knife spar, or crazy shit like that. Or he'd come in and go, okay, we're gonna go skydiving today, <laughs> which we did. Um, and Lassie would bring some really cool people because my warehouse was next to his. I used to rent it and then I would live in it. And then the warehouse next to his was his office. And I used to work in his office for him. And I was in my early 20s and uh, I was on the pursuit of learning martial arts. And Lassie and I trained Jeet Kune Do and Kali and Seelot together under the Dan and Asano type school, you know, which is cool. He learned some good basics that way. Um, but one thing that Lassie would do is he would put it to the test and we would always wear goggles and we would knife spar with rubber daggers, hard daggers, they, they, they hurt, you know? No protection on the hands and I can tell you for myself, it was a very humbling experience because I found that all the trapping stuff just didn't work. All the disarms and stuff went out the window. What did work is how to move and how to stab, how to cut. And if you did get the blade, hitting and striking and putting two hands on the wheel and manipulating and controlling. But the chances are slim. So anyhow, with Lassie, we got to meet a lot of good characters. I met Fred Perrin. I got to talk to Fred Perrin. If you don't know who Fred Perrin is, I recommend you Google him and find out who he is. Okay? You can learn a lot from Fred Perrin. I got to talk also with James Keating a lot. And James Keating is a guy that uh, he knows his business when it comes to the blade. So that education I got at Zabo Inc. really helped me make my C-Lot and my Kali better to the point where I made my C-Lot stuff more and more like fencing from old Europe. That seems to work. And in the last five years with Uncle Willem de Toires, he keeps stressing the idea of the fencing and understanding fencing and how it's a huge part of understanding the knife. And I, I agree with him. So, bottom line, here's what I wanna say and share with you guys and gals, whoever's listening. <clears throat> if you're studying martial arts and you're spending your hard-earned money to learn martial arts, make sure you go study with somebody who knows what the hell they're doing, first of all. Second of all, if you're being taught all this fancy knife stuff, and your instructor has never done knife sparring or never done knife sparring with you, buy them a pair of goggles, buy them two rubber trainers and ask them to knife spar with you. And if they don't, and if they give you some excuse, then you know that that's not the place you should be training. You wanna find an instructor that is going to test you and push your limits and show you honestly what you can and cannot do in the martial arts. In a safe way, but in a way that's very eye-opening, okay? I saw some of the best Kali people I know end up with daggers in their mouth, with uh, getting cut every time they try to do stuff, their hands were bloody, just from rubber daggers, because they were never used to knife sparring, okay? So here's my point. 
you can learn a valuable lesson from knife sparring. And I urge you to do it. If you're a Silat man or a Kali man or a Jeet Kune Do man or whoever, it doesn't matter. If you're into training combat and combative arts, then make sure you spend some time knife sparring. You'll thank me later.